Hi there guys and welcome to uh, this first introduction to rig making for complete beginners. So in this uh, series of videos what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be uh, remaking uh, a load of rigs that I previously made on the channel uh, for all the new subscribers. Uh, we're going to look at how to make them from start to finish so there'll be uh, in-depth talk about you know what different rigs I'm going to be using for what um, and we're just going to look at um, the concept of going through the whole rig making process um, if you want to um, learn to make rigs yourself from a complete beginner's aspect uh, so we're just going to go through some of the items that I use um, just to show you you know the bits and pieces that, you know that we use to make rigs uh, the first part we're going to um, look at is this Ooh, which is there it's grease weasel shot leader um, I use grease weasel um, I've used it for quite a while it seems to it seems to work perfect it does what I need it to do uh, this one's in a 60 pound it's in a gray um, again clearer or duller colors um, are preferred uh, bright orange, uh, you know, a lot of anglers say they spook the fish, but I mean, I haven't had any problems using this dull grey colour or, or clear, uh, as a matter of fact. There's loads of other shot leaders on the market, uh, Tronics Pro do one, Asso do one, there's loads, loads of various different uh, shot leaders, 60 to 80 pound is usually the, you know, the one that a lot of anglers use, uh, so that is going to form the first part of your rig. Uh, the second item we use is Amnesia uh, Hook Snood Length. So this one here, which is a uh, £20 uh, breaking strain. Uh, that's what I use for most of my um, most of my uh, rig tying. Um, occasionally I'll go up to £30 or even possibly a £40. Uh, but at, that's what you're going to need for tying your hook snoods onto your rigs. Swivels wise, usually use a, a bigger top swivel, which is here. For the uh, for connecting your main line from your reel onto the top of your rig, and then for the snood lines, we're just going to be using a slightly smaller swivel there for the snoods. Again, it doesn't really matter. Um, speak to your local tackle shop, and they'll sort you out with sizes of swivels. Going to need some beads. So you've got a selection of beads there, small beads in there. Uh, also, we use crimps as well, but we'll, move, we'll, we'll as we as we go through making um, rigs that require crimps, we'll go in a little bit more detail of uh, you know what sizes and things that I use for that. Um, Camazan Aberdeen hooks uh, are a go-to for me. Uh, size two being predominantly the one I use quite a lot. Um, if I'm having problems, uh, you know, trying to pick up the fish on the size two, we usually change down to a smaller size four which is there uh, and also size 4 are good for picking up things like sole uh, and smaller fish and scratching around uh, on the um, pulley rigs that I, I use I do tend to use a lot of cox and rule hooks uh, surf and uptied hooks in size 20, 30, 40 and also the specimen X are fantastic hooks as well if I'm making a panel uh, rig I'll usually go for a circle hook on the top or in this case which I've been recommended by quite a lot of anglers to use an octopus hook at the top to catch the uh, the fish on the top hook there. Uh, there's quite a lot of rig clips around, uh, various different ones. Um, if you're making flapping rigs um, and you don't need to clip down your uh, hook snood, these ones are pretty good. It's Gemini link clips. Or if you're using or making a rig that needs to have the hook clipped down, Gemini also do a bent rig clip there um, which has a bent bit there that you clip your hook into but we'll go through that in more detail once we make the rigs um, bait stops there again it's you know chosen uh, preference whether you add those or not and then just going to need some tools uh, to, to do the job um, I've got some cutters here so I use that for cutting um, my lengths of my um, line Again, you can use nail clippers if you prefer. Uh, use pliers. Um, I use these predominantly for holding the hooks when I'm pulling the hooks and pull it, setting my knots. Um, this one here is good as well, which is just a general hook puller. Uh, sorry, a general uh, knot puller. So you use that in the swivel and pull the swivels. Um, and then you're just going to need a measuring device. So um, the the one that people would probably shout to and go to was this one here, the tape measure. Uh, it's pretty handy for measuring out what you need. Uh, however. I found that these are absolutely fantastic. Uh, these are just fold out rulers. So this fold out ruler goes up to, goes all the way up to two meters and I found those online. 
I uh, couldn't find them in any tackle shops, uh, unfortunately. So if you want one of them, grab one of them on, uh, online. The benefit of these is basically just due to the fact that once you unfold them, that they're going to stay like that until you fold them back up. So it's quite handy, um, and it doesn't all collapse on you when you're when you're making the rigs. So guys, that is basically all you're going to need um, for the uh, your, your rig making to get you started. Uh, the first rig we're going to make is going to be the pulley rig, uh, and that'll be. Uh, shortly followed after this video here so I hope you enjoy this series of videos that I'm going to be doing um, we're going to be making all kinds of different rigs from uh, pulley rigs all the way through to flapping rigs clip down rigs uh, running ledger rigs you name it uh, we will make it so if there's, if there's any rigs that you specifically want me to make uh, drop them in the comments below and uh, I'll see you on the first rig making video guys thanks very much